technology is the most powerful change in the world of education. Everything changes. Welcome to the Emerging Technologies in Education podcast, delivered to you by Clever Books Company. Dear listeners, welcome to the Emerging Technologies in Education podcast series, and we have Dave today as a guest. I'm going to give Dave uh, the honor to give a couple of uh, introductions about himself, which country he's coming from, what he does professionally, or anything he wants to tell about himself. Here you go. Hi, uh, I am Dave Wilson. I'm, I'm calling from uh, Chicago, the Chicago area, right in the middle of the United States. Um, I am the editor and web content manager for teachhub.com. That's uh, a website written for teachers by teachers. Uh, it's all about helping to ed helping educators make the most of their profession and helping them make uh, intuitive and uh, better lesson plans to, uh, you know, enhance the educational process. This is amazing. So, as we touched your company already, maybe you can elaborate a little bit more on topics and because we're going to share the link, obviously. Uh, in the description of this podcast to your company, maybe you can tell a little bit more what kind of information specifically, like blocks of information people are able to find on your website. Right. Uh, we have a stable of um, teacher writers who, who provide us with um, daily updates during the weekdays, every day during, you know, during a normal week. Um, and a lot of the things that they stress in their writings are technology in the classroom, classroom management, teaching strategies, classroom activities, anything that is kind of on the cutting edge cusp of the educational world, uh, we're going to be covering on the main page of uh, teachhub.com every day. That sounds brilliant. And um, so, and I want now to have a little bit of deep dive on your personal opinions on several topics. So, first of all, I want to touch the topic like how do you personally uh, feel about using technology in the, in the, for the educational purposes? Are you positive, negative about that, and why? I'm all positive. I'm all in favor of using every aspect and every little last terabyte of uh, technology in the classroom available to educators. I think it's uh, a, a great way to um, have a uh, whole world of educational ideas and, and uh, topics right at your fingertips. And kids, I think, are really eager to use any kind of technology in the classroom that um, educators can, can plug in. So I think it's all positive and it's, you know, a wonderful way to enrich your classroom. Sounds like a great start. So now I'm going to have another question to you. So if we're going to go into a specific technologies that, um, that would be your preference for the classroom, so maybe it's, uh, I don't know, a smart board or um, the YouTube or maybe it's a 3D printing or maybe some um, mixed reality or any other emerging technology or maybe open courses, uh, which ones do you think would be the most beneficial for the classroom or uh, maybe from your experience or from the from the knowledge that you have from uh, people talking to other people or maybe your personal opinion and why you think those technologies would be beneficial for the classroom use. Okay. The first one that I would call out would be TED Talks. You know, those are those online kind of lectures that are available about just about any top topic that you can find, including education. There is a whole slew of education-related TED Topics that teachers can call up and simply plug in using a smart board or even using, you know, iPads. Uh, it's a great way for kids to learn and to, to kind of uh, get access to a worldwide kind of platform of, of different ideas that, you know, you can access right there in your classroom. Uh, we just ran an article yesterday on a, a fresh, super fresh topic called augmented reality. And that's, um, you're going to have to look at teachhub.com for a, for a better explanation of that. But it's basically a way of enhancing what's, what's already out there with, uh, with even more emerging technologies. So that's a good one. And then lastly, I would say uh, just using YouTube is a great way for 
you to learn just about anything from, uh, you know, I, at home, I've used it to like fix a ceiling fan, believe it or not. And you can, you know, in the classroom, you can use it for, for math. You can use it for reading for just about anything. So those are my top three, at least right now that can probably change tomorrow because, um, technology moves at such a blistering fast pace that, uh, you know, something could very well come along in the next couple of days and we'll shove those three out of the way. That sounds interesting. And um, I would like to take advantage that you're running such a powerful resource um, where you get the content for the teachers. Maybe you have an idea what is the most readable or the resources that uh, teachers or the visitors of your website are actually um, visiting more often. And why do you think it's happening? Um, by, by and large, um, teachers visit our website looking for classroom activities. Um, in other words, things that classroom games and things like that that can enhance a lesson plan um, kind of in a, in, a, in a real sense, not just sitting there listening, but actually getting together and participating with other classmates. Um, a lot of these are centered around the first day of school or they're holiday based, but by and large, people and educators come to the website looking for engaging classroom activities that they can plug into their to their lesson plans. By far, it's the most popular. That's an interesting topic. I think it's actually one of the most powerful things that when you, when you go and you know, you look for ideas, which you can do in your classroom, something different from what you've done today, I think this resource could be really useful. Um, and I, found, I will take an advantage that you are in the U.S. Um, I want to hear your personal point of view on where do you see currently technology sits in the educational sector in the U.S. and where do you see it going and moving in the future, like in five, ten years' time? Well, I think it's important to emphasize that um, whatever piece of new technology that comes down the pike in the next ten years is going to have an edu educational application. It's like having a, you know, Every I'm looking around here and you know I have an iPad right here and an iPhone and a, and a Mac and all of those can be used for educational purposes and I think that um, just about every new piece of technology that's gonna come out will have some kind of educational aspect and it's up to us as educators to to figure out how to get that working best for educational purposes um, Within the U.S., I think there's probably some disparity um, with regards to, you know, some school districts having access to better technology than others. But, um, you know, I think as kind of the, the, the playing surface levels out, it'll probably play out uh, in that, um, you know, kids in every school district someday will have access to all the best technologies that are out there. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's more and more moving in the direction that um, schools are looking outside the box and depending on their facilities and current, and current budget, they are trying to adopt technologies available. And I think this is brilliant because using technology in the classroom is actually preparation for the future for the kids and this is the most important thing because we're preparing them for the future jobs and um, many things that you know if we, go, we look back uh, five ten years time many jobs that we have now um, haven't existed and if we uh, um, look forward in time everything that is <laughs> substituted by robots um, or some data analytics tools that might some jobs might disappear as well and I think it's important to have technology adopted by schools so kids could be prepared for the, for the future and um, get ready to face the fourth industrial revolution we're in. And yeah, I wanted to ask you also, um, if there are any other resources that you, um, you follow in order to keep you up to date um, in the, with the news in the ad tech space? Uh, you know, I, I always keep uh, keep abreast with edutopia.com and some of the other websites that are out there. We also have a, uh, an online magazine, Teach Hub Magazine, that's available in the Apple Store. Um, and, and, some, and it's available, you know, uh, available uh, on some other um, 
some other platforms as well. So that's an excellent resource that we put out um, every day. That's, that's a definitely a good resource for you. Um, and, you know, uh, I look at the NEA.org time and again to, to keep up with uh, kind of the political goings on that are happening in the educational realm as well. There's all sorts of uh, ways that you can keep up abreast of what's happening in the ed tech space. Sounds good. So one more question I have to you. Me and you were people who are interested in using technology for education and actually those who are promoting um, the usage of this. And um, if we, for example, um, meet a person who will say, I think that technology in the classroom is something that is irrelevant and I prefer to use the old fashioned method because it's outside of my comfort zone and I think that um, the old fashioned method of teaching um, actually proved with time and technology is something new and I don't know what it is, it's something I don't like. What do you normally tell to these people? Do you encourage them to go and use technology for education or you just leave it as it is? And what do you normally tell them? Well, you know, I would approach everybody on a case by case basis, but I would I would um, emphasize the fact that um, technology and, and ed tech bells and whistles are there to help us be better teachers. And that by using every means available, every resource available to you, you're going to be enhancing your overall classroom acumen and you're going to be a, a better teacher. You're, not, you're certainly not going to get worse by uh, by using technology. So why not give it a shot? I would, you know, uh, encourage people to um, to 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 do some exploring and figure out what works for them. That sounds very good. Thank you very much for the advice, and I really appreciate the time you spend on this podcast and all the information you shared. The links would be, would be available on the blog post and also underneath this podcast. Uh, thank you very much for your time, Dave, and have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye. Everything changes.